So now that we've looked at the dermal tissue, we're going to move forward uh, in our discussion of tissue systems by entitling the next flowchart Tissue Systems 2. And now we'll focus on vascular tissue and the vascular tissue system as a whole, TS for tissue system. So we'll get right to it. The vascular tissue system serves two major functions that we've mentioned many times already as we've looked at plants in these past couple of lectures. First and foremost, vascular tissue is great at transport, great at conducting material. Transport specifically will be uh, in regards to the materials uh, that are going to be moved uh, throughout all throughout the plant body. So the plant, just like us, needs to make sure all of the materials that it absorbs and has within it move around. The water, the sugar, the nutrients, the minerals, what have you. All of that needs to move around. That transport's going to be functionally capable of happening because of vascular tissue. With transport and vascular tissue, the other major function is, of course, support. Support and transport. Very easy to remember in terms of functions. Support, essentially, all we're saying is that the plant doesn't fall over here. It prevents falling over. So the plant can be upright, though it can't move, and it will stay upright because of the vascular tissue it has. Now, there's an important distinction we actually have to make now with vascular tissue. There are going to be two main types of vascular tissue that we've covered before briefly, but now we'll explicitly sort of differentiate. VT for vascular tissue. Those two types are as follows. We're going to have xylem, and we're also going to have phloem. Two different types of vascular tissue. Very different types. Xylem will be the specific vascular tissue that does the following. It conducts, in other words, transports, moves around, water plus dissolved materials upwards. So things that need to go up to the tippy top of a tree have to go through a xylem vascular tissue structure. So we'll just finish this off by saying upwards. Things specifically, I should say, not just, just any things, but water and dissolved materials have to go upwards and conduct themselves through a xylem. Now, what's going to happen simply is that you're going to have absorption initially in the roots. Remember, what really helps us with that? The epiderm, the dermal tissue system, specifically the root hairs, right? They're very good at absorption. Once you have the absorption done at the roots, you will undergo some sort of conduction. I'll put this above the arrow just to show that that's the process, and that will eventually lead you to the shoots. So you go from the absorption in the roots to the shoots. How? Conduction. What do you do? What do you conduct? You're actually conducting usually just water, right? H2O plus dissolved materials within it. So that's our xylem. Our phloem does a different type of movement, does a different type of transport. It conducts sugars. And those sugars are going to be a result of photosynthesis that were made in the leaves initially. So conduct sugars made in leaves. Leaves are the primary photosynthetic organ. Don't forget that throughout the body. So we sh essentially we're sharing the wealth here. The leaves do not hog all of the sugar. It has to go to the stem because the stem needs energy. It has to go to the roots. The roots need energy. And all of this is going to be sort of uh, done by the phloem because the sugars start here and then they move from here via the phloem vascular tissue. So those are our two types, xylem and phloem. I'll usually write these down from this point forward as X plus P if I ever want to mention them together as vascular tissue. Furthermore, last thing about vascular tissue that we'll talk about is the steel. This is a very important structural component that you have to understand. The steel is going to really just be defined as all vascular tissue. All vascular tissue in a plant can be classified as one large structure called the steel. I'll say specifically all vascular tissue of the root and the stem, which simply means all vascular tissue of the plant, because vascular tissue is mainly going to be found in the root and stem structures and those things that come thereafter or from this overall initial structure, I should say. So all vascular tissue of the root and stem is called the steel. And the steel is going to be actually quite variable in terms of the following. There's going to be variation in its arrangement, orientation, in other words, 
in its arrangement uh, dependent on the species. So DEP for dependent on SPP. Many species will look at. And let's say, for example, angiosperms. So angiosperms are vascular plants, right? Why are they vascular? Well, they have vascular tissue. They have this transport support function that happens within them. They have xylem and phloem. Within them, they're going to have the following steel orientations. They're going to have a root steel, and they'll also have a separate stem slash leaf because the leaves come off of the stem, right? They originate from the stem uh, at those nodes, steel. The root steel is going to be generally, in angiosperms, a solid central cylinder. So it's going to be a solid central cylinder with X plus P. What does that stand for? Xylem and phloem. So it's a central cylinder in the root, and then in the stem and leaf, it's actually a different structure. So it's dependent on the species. The arrangement is different in the stem and leaf of this vascular tissue, steel. This is going to be arranged in what we call vascular bundles. So we have vascular bundles with, of course, X plus P, xylem and phloem, with vascular tissue. Vascular bundles versus central cylinder. That's our basic distinction. Even within the angiosperms, within this plant, let's say, two plant structures have different types of vascular tissue uh, arranged in steels, let's say. So that's our vascular tissue. And then finally, we just will cover the ground tissue in our next video, and that will end our look at the tissue systems.